Hey everyone, Evan Zagretsky back again, and uh, I got some stuff to show you guys. Um, yeah, I got a lot of stuff uh, around Christmas and um, with gift gift cards and stuff I got for Christmas. So uh, really excited to grab this stuff. Um, had a good Christmas, uh, a lot of dinners. Um, yeah, I got to see a lot of family, so it was really nice. Um, fortunately, uh, tomorrow I got to go back to work, but uh, it's alright. I only can have little vacation for so long but uh anyways uh i picked up a lot of good stuff um actually a lot of vita stuff um yeah really excited to get some of this stuff i've been wanting it for a while and um yeah the vita is a great system i'm sure a lot of you guys know that but you know it's not doing so well here and sales wise in north america but they still are they're putting out a ton of rpgs for it well maybe not a ton but a good amount um, and hopefully, you know, we can still at least get support for a little while because I still want to see these, uh, RPGs from Japan come over. So, um, first up, I got Tales of Hearts R, and, uh, really excited to get this one. Um, I like the Tales series, so, um, I'm going to play that one soon. Then I also picked up Freedom Wars for the Vita. Um, yeah, I didn't really know too much about this, but it was uh, on sale at Best Buy. I think it's on sale at Best Buy again right now, but it was like um, 15 bucks. So uh, yeah, I ended up getting it for seven after some stuff. So uh, I played it for a little bit. It seems really cool. Um, so really excited to get this one too. And then uh, this one I've been wanting to get for a while, but I... Uh, holding off um, to get a better price and I actually still need to beat the first game of this and that's uh, Danganronpa 2 um, yeah I still need to finish the first game the first game's awesome so far but uh, yeah I, I ended up getting this at GameStop for like $14 because they actually had these like $5 coupons that you would get for um, just downloading one of those stupid congregate games but uh, I got a couple of those, and then I uh, used that and you know, birthday coupon and got this for like 14 bucks. It was uh, Christmas money anyway, so I don't, the price doesn't really matter. But um, yeah, really excited to get this. I'm going to have to finish the first one so I can get into this one, which I hear this one is great as well. So awesome to get that. And then uh, these next few games were actually um, uh, four bucks a piece at Best Buy. Um, Nothing super good. I've actually had some before, but I just rebought them because I got rid of them. But for four bucks a piece for brand new Vita games, and it's a really good deal. So uh, this is the one I actually did not have. Um, I hear it's all right. Um, it's a third-person shooter game, so I'll give it a try. And that's Unit Thirteen. So we'll see how that one is. And then uh, these ones I've actually already had before. Um, Actually, this one I actually haven't really played that much of, but uh, Sly Cooper, Thieves in Time. So uh, Sly Cooper's always good. This game's okay, but um, I had a little bit of fun with it. So PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. Um, I actually have this on PlayStation Plus, but I like having the physical copies when I can get them for cheap. So decided to pick that one back up. And then uh, this game is fun for a little while. Kind of just to add to the collection. It sucks there's no uh, online for it. It'd make it a lot funner. But that's uh, Nod Nation Racers Road Trip. So, uh, yeah. I got So, yeah. Those are the uh, Vita games I got. That's a good amount of Vita games. Um, but really excited to play Danganronpa 2 when I finish the first one. And Tales of Hearts R and get through Freedom War. So, then I actually picked this up. Um... For a really good price at a uh, Target because they had like a cartwheel coupon and then that comes off like a price match if you I don't remember I price matched at Best Buy or something but it was really cheap and that's a PlayStation TV um yeah this probably is a worth what I paid for it um it's cool because like the Vita games look really good on your um on the TV uh blown up I mean I depends on the game but i'm sure there's some jagged lines and stuff um when it's uh 
blown up like that, but um, Freedom Wars looked really good on it. I was really interested to see how the remote play would work, because on the Vita it works really good, and um, I tried it and it wouldn't work at all. But then I also tried it on my Vita again and that wouldn't work at all, and I think it's because uh, we I live in an uh, apartment building with a bunch of other people, and um, I think there's just too many wireless signals going on at the same time, so... Um, when I move out, we're going to move into a house, um, in a few months, so, um, hopefully it'll work a little better there. I know it's kind of hit and miss, but, uh, nonetheless, if I can just play Vita games on the TV, it's still pretty cool. Um, so, happy to get this, um, I just need to put a little more use into it, so, that's cool. And then, um, yeah, there, I'll show you some not video game stuff that I got, um, two Blu-rays, uh, first is, uh, Orcaholic Season 4, um, yeah, it's a stupid show, but I think it's funny, so, they're always really cheap on Blu-ray, I like to buy certain shows on Blu-ray, um, or DVD or whatever, because I just like re-watching stuff sometimes, so, happy to get this, it may be dumb, but I enjoy it, I'm not, gonna say it's the best show ever but it's stupid toilet humor so and then this one I'm really excited to get <clears throat> sorry um well this one I'm really excited to get <clears throat> and that's uh Cowboy Bebop the complete series this is the uh Amazon limited edition um I pre-ordered this in uh August and uh, it was going for a lot of money right before it actually came out. It's kind of died down a little bit, but um, I ended up getting this for 70 bucks because when I pre-ordered it, it was that cheap. And um, yeah, I, I love Cowboy Bebop. I'm not like a super anime fan. I, I like anime. I just don't really have the time to watch like a ton of different ones. But uh, I love, love Cowboy Bebop. I saw it a long time ago. Um, bought all the DVDs, I still have all the DVDs, and, uh, it's just a really good show in general, not just for anime, so, really happy to get this, um, it's pretty cool, it's got this nice clamshell packaging, um, I don't have the Blu-ray case, because it's out in the living room, because I'm watching it, but, uh, it also comes with a black and white sketchbook, and then a, uh, colored art book. Art books aren't too big, but just a nice little extra. Um, and then it came with uh, the whole series on Blu-ray and DVD. I know the regular Blu-ray set just has it on Blu-ray, which I don't need them on DVD, but I just really wanted the, the nice packaging for that, because uh, this is probably, this and Evangelion are probably my uh, favorite animes ever, so happy to get that. So the next thing I'm going to show you, um, some cheap stuff I got from GameStop. Um, first is, uh, Bust a Move Universe. Uh, always a fan of Bust a Move. Um, nice little fun puzzle game. And just, uh, figured I'd pick this up for a couple bucks to play on the go, so that's cool. And then, uh, this one I actually used another $5 coupon on. It was like 50 cents or something, but after I used the coupon, but, um... I don't know, just something lately has made me want to kind of try this series. Um, yeah, well, I don't know, I know they're pretty hard, but that's Ninja Gaiden Sigma for the PlayStation 3. Um, gonna get into that eventually. Um, I get pretty frustrated with these action games when they're difficult, but um, yeah, I want to play through them and uh, see how that is. And then this one. I actually just saw and uh, I wanted to pick it up so I could uh, get a physical copy of one of these games at least on the 360 because I have it on PS2 but that's uh, Cubed and that's uh, Lumines Live um, E4 and Res HD and I just thought it'd be pretty cool to have a uh, physical copy of uh, Res on the 360 and I was like two dollars or something so Glad to find that. Um, I don't. I've only seen that uh, triple pack of games a couple times at GameStop before, so 
Um, it's cool finding those random obscure games that you don't really see all that much. So, And then the uh, last few things I got were some Best Buy stuff. And first is uh, South Park Stick of Truth on the PS3, which um, I actually had this before, and I got really far into it, but um, ended up trading it in at somewhere. Got, yeah, so um, I haven't been able to play it since then. Um, I think it was a really good deal I got to trade it in at the time. So it, it was at, like, Target in the spring, and they were giving, like, triple values on everything, and... Uh, yeah, just there you were getting a ton of credit for s stuff, so I decided to do that, and that's how I actually bought my uh, Wii U. So um, that's kind of why I got rid of it prematurely. But I was having a lot of fun with it, so I've been waiting to get it um, cheap because it's always like thirty bucks all the time, and um, we're just waiting and waiting. And finally, like this past week Kmart had it on their website for like ten dollars so I just went to Best Buy and price matched it so happy to pick that up again and then these uh last two games I got with uh Christmas money the uh, day after Christmas or gift cards the day after Christmas and um first is The Last of Us remastered on PS4 um I've already played through this on the PS3 but I wanted to uh re-get this so I could uh play through the um, Ellie's story thing and maybe get into the multiplayer a little bit so happy to get this again and then the uh, last one um, I've actually seen this game a bunch of times and I've kind of been interested in it but um lately I, on Crack Lotus's channel he's been uh, talking about it a lot and you know how much he likes it and it's kind of intrigued me more and um, at Best Buy they actually are like clearancing this game out so it was still like 20 bucks or something but um, yeah, 20 bucks for this kind of game is still a good deal to me, so, um, and that's, uh, Dragon Guard 3 for the PS3. I've never actually played the first, uh, games, but, um, yeah, I'm excited to give this one a try. Um, yeah, if Crack Lotus likes it, um, I feel like it's, it, you know, it, it's worth a try. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. It's probably going to be good anyways, but, uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, don't really know too much about it, but, um, you know, it's, why not pick it up? It looks pretty good, uh, yeah. So, um, actually I have one more thing to show you, and that's, um, I picked up another DualShock 4 for the PlayStation 4, um, and I got that for, like, 25 bucks, because I, uh, Sears has, I think Sears still has it on their website for 25 bucks, so I just went to Best Buy and price matched it, uh, no problem, so happy to get another one of those, um, I actually had another one so I didn't have to keep syncing up my DualShocks, um, between the PlayStation TV and the, uh, PlayStation 4, so, um, yeah, I just ended up getting another one, so, anyways, uh, I think that's actually all I got, so, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching again, and uh, I'm going to have to go play some of these games, so uh, later.